Hey there folks, good morning. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today we are proceeding imperfectly. As I like to say, I'm eating some of my own dog food today. The um, It's a long story, but we have less than stellar audio today. But that's okay, we're going to make it through. I'm glad that you are here. If you are here watching live or watching on the replays, okay with me, just drop a comment down there, say hi, let me know that you're here. That encourages me, and it lets Facebook know you want to join in the conversation that continues after the video ends, which it does quite often, just like Joe did. Good morning to you, Joe. So this week we've been talking about plans, goals, how big should they be. That was an interesting conversation yesterday. Today I'm going to talk to you about why I believe you should only have one and what that really means. Um... So, if, plan, if it's almost the end of January, uh, I think the 1st of February is coming up this week, isn't it? Oh, yeah, tomorrow. Look at that. <clears throat> so, statistically, we know 40% of people that made a New Year's resolution have already failed uh, to keep it, to maintain it. Why is that? Why is it so difficult? There's a lot of reasons why, I believe, but if you fall into that category, this is the, the week, this is uh, the series of conversations you need to listen to. If you know somebody that is struggling with that, uh, point them back to this page. The easy way to get here is 7minutesinthemorning.com. That gets you to the right place on Facebook to watch this video and all the back issues. And if you happen to be listening on your podcast catcher, love it that you are here also. <coughs> When you have a chance, head over to Facebook, 7minutesinthemorning.com, say hi, leave us a comment there. Okay, so, why do I say you can only have one priority? This is one of the things that I get the most pushback on, but I'm probably most adamant about. Because one of the things, what the, the most frequent challenge that I see when people are not being able to meet their goals is that they can't articulate one. Well, I want to do this and this and this. Okay. Well, if you could only do one of those, which one would you do? I don't want to do one. I want to do all three of them. I'm like, okay. If you had 10 minutes of left in your life and you had to get one in, which one would you do? Oh, well, I'd do this one. Okay. Well, well that was the priority all along anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. So the problem is what happens when you won't commit <coughs> to that one priority, and you try to split your attention between the three, it's not like they get a third, a third, a third. It, it's, it's split even more than that, because even when you only have one, it doesn't get 100% of the attention, because that's the one big goal, even if it's for the day. See, and, and the way that I teach time management and planning, right? you can set one big goal, so we have seven categories in our life. I'll, I'll let you set one big goal in each of those categories. Break that down to milestones for the quarter. And then in a quarter, there's 13 weeks. So let's make a milestone for each week. And then each day, what's the milestone for that day? That's moving you toward that big goal. If you meet those daily milestones, the weekly milestones, the quarterly milestones, you're going to hit that annual milestone. Right? But... That one priority today is not the only thing that you have to do. There's lots of other things. There's lots of um, ancillary things, supporting things, uh, things that are important but not the priority that you have to get done also. So even when you have only one priority, it doesn't get 100% of your attention. right? So if it's not getting 100%, let's say it gets... Will be generous and say it gets 50% of your attention today. Now you have to split and, and, and you won't commit. Now you got three priorities. Now you have to split 50% across three things. And one of them really is your favorite anyway. So it's going to get a little bit more. But the problem is, and, and, and so the net result of all of that is that you don't make progress on any of them. And then what happens? Frustration. Remember, frustration is a function of expectations. You expect, oh, I've got a plan. I can make these three things happen. 
But you didn't set yourself up to succeed on doing that. You get to the end of the day, you didn't make any of the three happen, and now you're frustrated. Right? Remember, happiness comes from progress. Progress is movement toward a goal. Right? We set the goal. We've we've talked about that this week. Now we're talking about movement. Movement toward a goal. Right? What you do, the activity you do, needs to move you in that direction. If it's not moving you toward that goal, you're just setting yourself up for frustration. Now, you can have three big things that you want to do. You just have to pick one to focus on first. Right? Maybe it's three big things that have to, that, that are coming together at the same time. Right? Okay. That's a possibility. I've seen those circumstances before. And that just calls for some creative scheduling. But when it comes to focus, and and a lot of this, look, a lot of this is based on the way our brain works, right? Our brain pays a switching tax, right? Have you ever been working on something, working on an email, working on a letter, and you get a phone call? (sighs) So you answer the phone call, you take care of that, hang up the phone, and they're like, all right, now, where was I? And we'll read this for a minute. Oh, okay, all right, all right. That having to get back where you were, that's called the switching tax. Every time you have to switch like that, you have to pay the switching tax. So as much as we can minimize the switching, the more we can minimize the switching, the more we can increase our effectiveness. Right? Remember, it's not about efficiency, it's about effectiveness. We're not trying to get more done, we're trying to get the right things done. All right? So that's the message for today. Focus on one thing. So today, before you uh, head out, start your day, look over your list and look at the one thing that needs to happen today. It might not even be written down on your to-do list. It might be this thing that we just kind of keep in the back of our head. Well, I've got to get, you know, got to call 10 customers today. Okay, write that down on your to-do list so you can tick them off. There's some brain science behind that too, right? Write it down, look over your to-do list, find the one thing that's going to move you toward your goal today, and then do your best to knock that out as early in the day as possible. Then the rest of the day is gravy, or ice cream, or coffee, you know, whatever your favorite reward is. All right, that's it for today. Hey, listen, programming announcement, no coffee shop show today, Joe. No coffee shop show. Uh, Eric is under the weather, and I've got some scheduling conflicts today, so we are going to take the week off from the coffee shop show. Should be back next Wednesday, next week, same time, same channel. Uh, Be sure and tune in for that. Speaking of tuning in, tune in here tomorrow on Thursday. We'll be thankful Thursday, and uh, we will continue the conversation tomorrow, talking about what you should do when you don't hit a goal. Yeah. There's a good topic for you, but I'm saving that one for tomorrow. You guys have a fantastic Wednesday. Thanks for being here, and I will talk to you tomorrow.